Breakthrough Starshot is a research and engineering project by the Breakthrough Initiatives to develop a proof-of-concept fleet of light sail spacecraft named Starkip, to be capable of making the journey to the Alpha Centauri star system 4.37 light-years away. A flyby mission has been proposed to Proxima Centauri b, an Earth-sized exoplanet in the habitable zone of its host star, Proxima Centauri, in the Alpha Centauri system. At a speed between 15% and 20% of the speed of light, it would take between 20 and 30 years to complete the journey, and approximately four years for a return message from the starship to Earth. The conceptual principles to enable this interstellar travel project were described in A Roadmap to Interstellar Flight by Philip Lubin of UC Santa Barbara. Sending the lightweight spacecraft involves a multi-kilometer phased array of beam-steerable lasers with a combined coherent power output of up to 100 gigawatts. Topic: <laughs> General The project was announced on 12 April 2016 in an event held in New York City by physicist and venture capitalist Yuri Milner, together with cosmologist Stephen Hawking, who was serving as board member of the initiatives. Other board members include Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg. The project has an initial funding of $100 million to initialize research. Milner places the final mission cost at $5–10 billion, and estimates the first craft could launch by around 2036. Pete Warden is the project's executive director and Professor Avi Loeb, Harvard University, chairs the advisory board for the project. In 2017 Stephen Hawking told the audience at Starmus Festival, our physical resources are being drained at an alarming rate. We have given our planet the disastrous gift of climate change. Rising temperatures, reduction of the polar ice caps, deforestation and decimation of animal species. We can be an ignorant, unthinking lot. We are running out of space and the only places to go to are other worlds. It is time to explore other solar systems. Spreading out may be the only thing that saves us from ourselves. I am convinced that humans need to leave Earth. Topic. Leaders Management and Advisory Committee Pete Warden, Executive Director, Breakthrough Starshot, former Director of NASA Ames Research Center Avi Loeb, Chairman, Breakthrough Starshot Advisory Committee, Harvard University Jim Benford, Microwave Sciences Stephen Chu, Nobel Prize winner, Stanford University Bruce Drain, Princeton University Andrean, Cosmos Studios Freeman Dyson, Princeton Institute of Advanced Study Lou Friedman, Planetary Society, JPL Robert Fugate, Arctelum, LLC, New Mexico Tech Giancarlo Genta, Polytechnic University of Turin Olivier Guyon, University of Arizona May Jemison, 100-year starship Joan Johnson Fries, U.S. Naval War College Pete Kluper, Director of Engineering, Breakthrough Starshot, former Director of Engineering, NASA Ames Research Center Jeff Kuhn, University of Hawaii Institute for Astronomy Jeff Landis, S.A. Glenn Research Center Kelvin Long, Journal of the British Interplanetary Society Greg Matloff, New York City College of Technology Claire Max, University of California, Santa Cruz Kaya Nobuyuki, Kobe University Kevin Parkin, Parkin Research Mason Peck, Cornell University Saul Perlmutter, Nobel Prize winner, Breakthrough Prize winner, UC Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory Martin Rees, Astronomer Royal Roald Sagdaev, University of Maryland Ed Turner, Princeton University, NAOJ Objectives 
The Breakthrough Starshot program aims to demonstrate a proof of concept for ultra-fast, light-driven nano spacecraft, and lay the foundations for a first launch to Alpha Centauri within the next generation. Secondary goals are, solar system exploration and detection of Earth-crossing asteroids. The spacecraft would make a flyby of, and, possibly photograph any Earth-like worlds that might exist in the system. Target planet In August 2016, the European Southern Observatory announced the detection of a planet orbiting the third star in the Alpha Centauri system, Proxima Centauri. The planet, called Proxima Centauri b, is orbiting within the habitable zone of its star, and it could be a potential target for one of the projects of breakthrough initiatives. In January 2017, Breakthrough Initiatives and the European Southern Observatory entered a collaboration to search for habitable planets in the nearby star system, Alpha Centauri. The agreement involves Breakthrough Initiatives providing funding for an upgrade to the VISIR VLT imager and spectrometer for mid-infrared instrument on ESO's Very Large Telescope, VLT in Chile. This upgrade will greatly increase the likelihood of planet detection in the system. Topic: Concept. The Starshot concept envisions launching a mothership carrying about a thousand tiny spacecraft on the scale of centimeters to a high altitude Earth orbit and then deploying them. A phased array of ground-based lasers would then focus a light beam on the craft's sails to accelerate them one by one to the target speed within 10 minutes, with an average acceleration on the order of 100 km per square second 10, 000, and an illumination energy on the order of 1 TJ delivered to each sail. A preliminary sail model is suggested to have a surface area of 4 m x 4 m. An October 2017 presentation of the Starshot system model examines circular sails and finds that the beam director capital cost is minimized by having a sail diameter of 5 meters. Earth-size planet Proxima Centauri b was discovered in 2016 orbiting within the Alpha Centauri system habitable zones, compelling the breakthrough Starshot to try to aim its spacecraft within one astronomical unit 150 million kilometers or 93 million miles of it. From this distance, a craft's cameras could potentially capture an image of high enough quality to resolve surface features. The fleet would have about 1,000 spacecraft, and each one, dubbed a Starkip, would be a very small centimeter-sized vehicle weighing a few grams. They would be propelled by a square kilometer array of 10 kilowatts ground-based lasers with a combined output of up to 100 gigawatts. A swarm of about 1000 units would compensate for the losses caused by interstellar dust collisions en route to the target. In a detailed study in 2016, Team Hoang and co-workers found that mitigating the collisions with dust, hydrogen and galactic cosmic rays may not be quite as severe an engineering problem as first thought. Topic: Technical challenges. Light propulsion requires enormous power. A laser with a gigawatt of power, approximately the output of a large nuclear plant, would provide only a few newtons of thrust. The spaceship will compensate for the low thrust by having a mass of only a few grams. The camera, computer, communications laser, a plutonium power source, and the solar sail must be miniaturized to fit within a mass limit. All components must be engineered to endure extreme acceleration, cold, vacuum, and protons. The spacecraft will have to survive collisions with space dust. Starshot expects each square centimeter of frontal cross section to collide at high speed with about a thousand particles of size at least 0.1 micrometers. Focusing a set of lasers totaling 100 gigawatts onto the solar sail will be difficult due to atmospheric turbulence, so there is the suggestion to use space-based laser infrastructure. According to The Economist, at least a dozen off-the-shelf technologies will need to improve by orders of magnitude. Starkip 
Starkip is the name used by breakthrough initiatives for a very small, centimeter-sized, gram-scale, interstellar spacecraft envisioned for the Breakthrough Starshot program, a proposed mission to propel a fleet of a thousand starships on a journey to the Alpha Centauri star system, the nearest extrasolar stars, about 4.37 light-years from Earth. The journey may include a flyby of Proxima Centauri b, an Earth-sized exoplanet that is in the habitable zone of its host star. The ultra-light Starkip robotic nanocrafts, fitted with light sails, are planned to travel at speeds of 20% and 15% of the speed of light, taking between 20 and 30 years to reach the star system, respectively, and about four years to notify Earth of a successful arrival. The conceptual principles to enable practical interstellar travel were described in A Roadmap to Interstellar Flight by Philip Lubin of UC Santa Barbara, who is an advisor for the Starshot project. In July 2017, scientists announced that precursors to Starkip, named Sprites, were successfully launched and flown through Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle by ISRO from Satish Dhawan Space Center. Sprites will also be flown on the KICKSAT-2 mission scheduled for November 2018. Components Each Starkip nanocraft is expected to carry miniaturized cameras, navigation gear, communication equipment, photon thrusters and a power supply. In addition, each nanocraft would be fitted with a meter-scale lightsail, made of lightweight materials, with a gram-scale mass. Cameras Four sub-gram-scale digital cameras, each with a minimum 2 megapixels resolution, are envisioned. Processors Four sub gram scale processors are planned. Topic Photon thrusters Four sub gram scale photon thrusters, each minimally capable of performing at a 1W diode laser level, are planned. Topic: Battery. A 150 mg atomic battery, powered by plutonium-238 or americium-241, is planned. Topic: Protective coating. A coating, possibly made of beryllium copper, is planned to protect the nanocraft from dust collisions and atomic particle erosion. <laughs> light sail The light sail is envisioned to be no larger than 4 by 4 meters 13 by 13 feet, possibly of composite graphene-based material. The material would have to be very thin and be able to reflect the laser beam while absorbing only a small fraction of the incident energy, or it will vaporize the sail. Other potential destinations The table below lists possible target stars for similar photogravitational assist travel. The travel times are for the spacecraft to travel to the star and then enter orbit around the star using photon pressure in maneuvers similar to aerobraking. Successive assists at Alpha Ken A and B could allow travel times to 75 years to both stars. Lightsail has a nominal mass to surface ratio sigma nom of 8.6 times 10 minus 4 gram m minus 2 for a nominal graphene class sail. Area of the light sail, about 105 square meters equals 316 meters 2 Velocity up to 37,300 km s-1 12.5% c Topic: Other applications 
The German physicist Claudius Groh has proposed that the technology of the Breakthrough Starshot initiative may be utilized in a second step to establish a biosphere of unicellular microbes on otherwise only transiently habitable exoplanets. A Genesis probe would travel at lower speeds, about 0.3% of the speed of light. It could hence be decelerated using a magnetic sail. See also